prayer, Psalm 139. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. Amen. Song of Zechariah, Luke chapter 1. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David. And as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the land of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestors, Abraham, to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the, prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Amen. And now as we reflect on these scripture passages, we'll have a moment of silence.
Amen. Come thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night and death's dark shadows forth to flight. Rejoice, rejoice. our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen in our concluding prayer let us pray lord god fill our hearts with mercy and our minds with discernment so that our actions will be pleasing to you may your peace which surpasses all understanding Guide our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, through your Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>